Ready? No. Hey guys, welcome back to Boat Car Adventures. I'm Elaine. And I'm Chris. Oh, and the party was rocking, by the way, just so you guys know. Well, <laughs> welcome to the hood. What party? The one we went to. The one we gate crashed. Oh, yeah. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Bell third. <laughs> <laughs> At least this cold door came off. <laughs> We're going to talk about, um, as you know, from our last few videos, we are going over some of the stuff we did in 2023. Yeah. And we love boating. So, if you are a company that wants us to review your boats, you know where we are, or your yep. boating all days, we're yep. available. Anyway, let's go back to 2023. <laughs> and Just to reiterate what you just said, yeah, because I'm not going to rush over that too quick. Right. If you are a company that owns a boating holiday company, or you have any boats, ledger boats, that you'd like us to review or to just like have fun in, by all means. Yep. Call us. Call us and we will make it happen. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about our experience that we had on the uh, Richardson's boat. Yep. And in that Norfolk. Was, that definitely. And um, that's one boat and it was the... Why do you look so high in the camera? Uh, hey. Yeah, yeah. You look like... I'm maybe too close to then. You look like that guy in Despicable. Uh, uh, in Despicable. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I've moved my seat back a little bit. <laughs> um, right, so the Richardsons, um, and it's a... Uh, what boat was it, first of all? We're going to be taking this boat out for the next seven days. Nice. Seven nights. <laughs> and we're going to be cruising and living on this boat with three children. So... Commander. Yeah. It was a commander. Uh, commander 45. There you go. Right. And um, 45 means the length of the boat, right? Yeah, which typically they're normally a bit longer than the actual suggested length, um, as old boats are. Um, but yeah, it's a Commander 45. Yeah. And that was a really, really nice boat. And it's run by Richardson's Boat in uh, Holidays. Yeah. So it's Richardson's Boat in Holidays, I'll say that properly. And they're based in Norfolk in um, Stalham. Yeah. Stalham? Stalham, it is Stalham. Yeah, Stalham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in Stalham. And um, they're a massive company. <laughs> they've got hundreds of boats. I, I, I mean, you just see all their boats everywhere. There so, are boats to suit all budgets, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. there's small boats, big boats, day boats. Um, yeah, not car boats, unfortunately. <laughs> so, we, <laughs> no, no, not car boats. So we um, turned up to uh, the Richardsons and um, we were just literally just going to say hi, weren't we, to um, the gentleman there, who was Greg? Yeah, Greg yeah. Mumford um, yeah. is a uh, director, managing director, MD. Yeah. Hi Greg, if you are watching. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yes, yeah, so we turned up there and we were just literally going to say hi and um, Chris kind of plugged. You know. Let, let's, let's get this right now. <laughs> Columbus was actually broken. It was broken. And we, yeah, we, we were gutted. Yeah, so we went for a walk and um and and, and it wasn't none of this was planned. It really wasn't because we just went to the first garage and it happened to be literally across the road. So um so we yeah, we we thought, oh let's go over to the Richardsons and go say hi and see what what's happening over there. Yeah. It was it was raining, wasn't it? It was like pouring. Exactly. <laughs> and by the way, we weren't expecting to go on the boat that day. We just went for a walk because we had to wait for a car to be diagnosed yeah and and so so Columbus is getting diagnosed so yeah we, there's not much to do around there so we just went for a walk and that's we yeah we went there and we and obviously we need a place so we thought we'd go for a walk we saw the that boat. they had a new calf so we were like, right, let's get in there because it was like pouring with yeah, rain. Yeah, it was raining. <laughs> so we went in and um, not that, we, well, we, we didn't know that it was literally a new, brand new It wasn't cafe. even open. It wasn't even open. Yeah. So they were like, like, come in, yeah, come in, come and have a chat. In true Richardson's form, the staff there are amazing. Yeah, very. Very attentive, very friendly. And I'm talking even down to the, the ladies and gentlemen who clean the boats. Well, I don't know, I think they really wanted to kick Chris out. Uh, mate, why me? Because you were too loud. Oh, 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 yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm loud, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like me, that's it. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I won't get some sympathy, haven't I? No. No, all right. Anyway, yeah. I so don't expect you guys to give... After um, we blagged some milkshakes and everything else, no, be honest with you, they actually gave us and looked after us um, when they realised who we are. Excuse me, do you know who I am? I have absolutely no idea. I, I asked to see um, Greg. Um, at, at the time. I don't um, think you were expecting to really see him, were you? No, no, I said if this is he's around. he's a busy guy. Yeah, I said if this is around, I'd say hello. Um, yeah. And then, um, thought enough of it, and, <laughs> and they said, oh yeah, well, Craig, we want to see you, you'll come out in a minute, it's very busy, and he's always busy, this guy. He's a very odd man, he's got a lot of shit to keep 
in shape. Floating. Yeah, for he sure. floating. he's got that big ship to keep in shape and he does it really well. Yeah. So anyway, he came out and said hello and, and, and he was asked what we're doing here and said, what's happened? Da, da, da. Columbus is run, but you know, we're going to be here for a, well, we're going to end if it's Columbus. We don't know how long <laughs> yeah. it's going to be. Yeah. We don't know what's wrong with him at that point. And, and what did he say after that? And I think at that point you said um, that the new commanders had just come out and you'd like to have, just have a look at it because we were just we just we didn't really have any plans to do anything but because the, the boats had just pretty much been released within yeah. the last year or so we thought well why don't we go on there and just to take a video and uh, show you guys really what was on there so I'll be perfectly honest <laughs> Oh, I was planning to gate crash Richardson Slipway <laughs> and just go in the water yeah, and I'll we the plunder. So yeah. we were going to suss it all out and like, was it. That's, that was a plan. So yeah. you can imagine just splashing the water and going for it. That's what we were going to do and get on the broads. And so it was a little bit of a like uh, Mexico versus US standoff with should we go over the fence or not and yeah, just do it sure. anyway. But no, we, we, we thought we did properly. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, so uh, Greg was like, well, you know what? Why don't you just take one of them out? And, and I said, when? And we were like, what do you mean? Yeah. Take one of them out. So Chris uh, looked at me, I looked at Chris, and was like, um, I we don't know. Th we literally had to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been off in the boat all day, and, uh, it's <laughs> and, and yeah, and it was like, yeah, when do you want it? I was like, eh? Tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow today. We were like, no, we can't yeah. go tomorrow. Yeah. This is, so we, we then agreed a date and, yeah. um, and then, um, and the funny thing is we were staying somewhere at the time. Yeah. So yeah. we were staying in a static caravan about 20, 20 miles away. Yeah. Um, a lovely caravan as well, really nice yeah, as well. Yeah, beautiful. And, um, and, but yeah, and it was like, do we like... End that one end quite that one and go on and... the boat, or do we keep that and still do the boat and then go back and carry it on? It was, it was like it was, we don't plan stuff, and it wasn't planned. And yeah, then... and that's how we love it. We do love that kind of um, spontaneity. You can't get any, you cannot write a book on what happened. We turn up the, on the day with yep. a load of um, as the bags, as you can see in the video. We loaded and we loaded and loaded and loaded and loaded. We brought the whole house with us. Yeah. Well, Elaine did. No. Because uh, Leah did. No, I didn't. How on <laughs> earth did we get all that in that boat car? I really don't know. I mean, people was amazed. They, they was like, wow, boat car, amazing. What a really amazing one. They stood there and watched us <laughs> take out thousands of bags out of this boat car full of stuff. Like, how do you know all them things I don't it? know. I don't know. They, oh, my it God. just one after the other. I mean, at one point, it was mental. It was actually crazy. And they were more amazed about how we got... They were like, how do you get all that in that boat car? I'm like, I don't know. I think right. you, you learn to live in small spaces. But anyway, it was, um, we got in a boat and we met, um, yeah. Look, when you see this guy, you just don't want to say anything to him because <laughs> yeah, his face is like proper scowly, to be fair. <laughs> but he is such a nice He's gentleman. A legend. He proper is, isn't he? Yeah. When you get on that boat and he takes you through everything and he makes you feel proper comfortable, yeah. like, yeah, you can't knock it yeah. at all. And he looks like he don't smile, but he's a lovely bloke, very serious, <laughs> he loves what he does. And to be fair, he's the longest serving member of staff there. Is it 30 years? I can't remember. He's, I think it was something like that. He's been that. there for... Oh, he's been there hundreds of years. He was there when the, prepare, when the bronze propellers get him cut. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, he was there from then. He's, he's a long serving member and he knows his stuff. Yeah. He does know his stuff and if you've got if you're fortunate to meet alan when you go when you book your holiday after this video with richardson's then you'll be him and the rest of the guys there yeah and yeah they make you know that you're safe when you leave oh there's it, another little one as well i forgot his name but he's been there quite a long time and he's the one that helped us put all the bags on the boat he looks like um he looks like he should be wrapped up in a little um like a little <laughs> toy box or something and only a woman open can say he, that he like pops out and says hi Jack i can in a help box. you but yeah. He, yeah he was a nice Lovely guy right. as well. you know you are you watch this video <laughs> we apologize for remembering your name <laughs> But you're, you're part of what made, when we went there and when we returned, um, you made our, our, our whole experience really great. But um, yeah, you know, they're all, they're all fantastic. All the stuff yeah. Brilliant. And the yeah. guys in the canteen as well, looking after the kids yeah. with milkshakes and oh, biscuits man. and stuff. Oh man, the canteen stuff were really nice. Yeah. The food there before. <clears throat> so now, as we were saying before, they just opened the canteen and literally now you can get things like paninis, you can get proper homemade milkshakes yeah um you can get uh juices like that's freshly squeezed and and also in the canteen it's nice and colorful it gives you that holiday feel before you start your holiday so it's definitely well worth getting there early and experiencing that elena's invested 55 percent into that company so if you want to sponsor that cafe there you go <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, honestly, it's been fantastic. But anyway, let's move back onto the boat. Right, so, so we're, we're on the, it. Yeah, we're on the boat. Um, Alan kicks us, oh, we kick him off. Yep. <laughs> well, we had to go back and drop him off. Yeah. And um, and then we were off, and that's it. Yeah. And that's the point where it is, where we was actually on another boat, a boat all day again. <laughs> and we're looking like, how did we get here? I know. Because it wasn't planned. It, it wasn't was not planned. in our itinerary of things to do. It was going to be, let's go north and let's just hit the bros in Columbus. Yeah. Let's show people what this car can really do. Yeah. Let's go some adventures. The kids were so surprised. So they did not have a clue. Yeah. We said to them that we were going on the boat to do a photo shoot. Yeah. And they <laughs> and thought we were joking. It. They thought we were yeah. joking. Yeah. They, they, no, well, they actually believed us yeah. that they were going on there to, to do a photo shoot, yeah. didn't they? So um, we got on there and then we broke it to them that actually we're going to be staying on this boat for seven nights. Um, but the problem is, we can't we, we get on for a while. Okay. Yeah. Wait, now? Well, yeah, later on today. Yeah. So... We're going to stay here two weeks. No, I'm not staying here. No, I'm not staying here for till later. <laughs> We're going to be staying here for seven more days on this boat. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah? Thank you. yeah. yeah. We're going to stay on this boat for seven days. Yeah. Seven day holiday. For real, for yeah. real. Yes. Listen, 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 guys, listen, guys, listen, guys, listen, guys. He's so excited. Is Ava so shocked? I know, I'm going to back in there. I can't believe it. We started, and where did we go to first? London. <laughs> so, yeah, we forgot that this bridge was very low. Yeah, and for those who watched the video, and for those of you who do know Norfolk, I'm sure quite a few may have been there, London Bridge is very, very low, and at high tide, it's possible. If you got a credit card <laughs> you can slip between you and the boat, then it's possible. Or you just don't do it at all. So the last thing you can do is write off a boat, a three to four hundred thousand pound boat. And by the way, many people have. Um, yeah, no. That area, that place is like the boat watching area. Yeah. So it's synonymous for people going through this bridge and knowing that their boat is far too large to yeah. go through the space that they've got yeah. and literally tearing the sides of their boats off. And the roofs of top canopies, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. And um, yeah, so um, we, and uh, to be fair, we was tired. We had a lot going on. Yeah. So normally I'd assess it and go for it. But that day I thought I'm not going to upset Greg right now and, and take out a... <laughs> <laughs> and take out and take out the co uh, commander 45 so uh, with a, especially the big holidays coming up it would not be a good thing i don't want to be the one to do that no. so that night we decided to take the um the decision to stay. yeah to stay put and that was a beautiful night it was clear skies we heard owls yeah um it was a lovely evening to be fair yeah so and then um, yeah so went on from there moved on the next morning and then we were heading down to where did we go after that Roxham. Did yeah, we went to Roxham, Roxham. but it's we like, couldn't stay. Yeah, it's like two hours to go to Roxham to find that you got to come all the way back. Yeah, and then we went to Port Arm, didn't we? Did yes. Po or did we go to Port Arm the way back? I so think the way it was back. on the way back. Yeah. yeah so anyway, we, we decided to carry on down to um, St uh, Staveley St um, Mills. <laughs> I think oh, that's the where windmill. we stopped next. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, we stopped at this windmill and it was beautiful. They had, they, there's like a farm there, so there's farm animals and um, the, the windmill shop. isn't working, is it? No, it's not, but I think... It's part it, of the house now, isn't it? No, it's actually it's still a windmill, if that's not working, but it's it's still a tourist attraction. You can go and visit it. Okay. And the owner of the farm shop and the moorings... And the calf. Yeah, I think they asked her to show people around yeah um you know and um because no one mans it but it's it's quite it's a beautiful place yeah it's spot. um it is. that day we tried to mold it i think it was like stormy so we couldn't get there it was, remember it's windy and strong so yeah. getting that boat side on on the berth was hard because it was blowing me away from the berth and oh yeah i remember that. it was God. really hard getting yeah. on uh, yeah so where we stopped at this um, windmill area was like, we, it took hours. It took like f six, five, six hours from Roxham, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, to get there. To get there. And we were at, at one point thinking, oh my God, are we actually going to get there in time? Because there was nowhere really in between to stop at once you get past a certain point. Yeah. And it was raining and it was windy and uh, it was a nightmare. But we got there and it was night time. So um, as Chris says, the wind was literally blowing you off whilst we're trying to pull it on. Yep. And oh. I was using the bow frosters, I did everything. It was, just, it was just like we got it on in the end. And the owners came out. Yeah, well, they were shut. Yeah. And they opened it up for us because um, we was like, <laughs> we've got no milk, we've got nothing. Um, because it was just like, 
late and the owner um, we the owner we rang the doorbell and yeah. the owner answered and said no don't worry we'll come out and open yeah, up and there was yeah, chat yeah. so we, we we bought stuff and yeah. like I said we're all about supporting local businesses absolutely so, um, you know we, we bought some stuff and, uh, and another chat as well yeah and, um, really nice couple yeah we had a couple really really nice and they didn't charge us did they no oh no. yeah no so normally um Per night in on the off seasons, is it five pounds? I think five it was. pounds. Yep. Um, and so, but they didn't charge us that particular time. But you know, just so you guys know, if you were to stop there, it's about five six pounds to stop there, and yep. it is well worth it because you can get your fresh water top up there. Yeah. Um, you can also pick up food hot she, and cold. Yeah, and they got sweets and stuff for yeah, kids. Yeah, toys and stuff and toys. Toys. And there is a little mini small holding. Yeah. So you know, you got like peacocks and goats and what else is there? Chickens. Chickens. Um, <laughs> There's all kind of animals. I yeah. forgot. There's a donkey. Yeah, donkey. Yeah, yeah donkey, there was donkey there. And, and yeah, so there's a lot. There's a lot of. Um, there's a lot to do for the kids, yeah. especially in the daytime. Unfortunately, it's winter for us. Yeah. It was freezing cold, raining, and stuff. But you know, we tried to make the most of it. Yeah. And yeah. Um, but yeah. So anyway, what we. What is it with us? We're like always doing nice stuff in the, in the, in the rubbish weather. I know. Like, come on, man. <laughs> had breakfast and then we were off by seven o'clock in the yeah, morning. Seven, yeah, because we had to make the, we had to get down towards Great Yarmouth to then at the tide at the right point yeah. where it's going down, but not right at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you've got to get it right or it could go all over wrong, especially on the bigger boat anyway. Yeah. And, um, and because the bridge, right, the last bridge before you go out of Great Yarmouth is very, very low, as yeah. you can see in the video. Yeah. Um, it is, very uh, low. It is very low. And <laughs> if you get it wrong, I and mean, I've seen loads of clips a boat's crash into the bridges. Why do they need two bridges there? Let's blow oh, it I up. Think, I, think, <laughs> <laughs> I think one's a railway bridge. Oh, okay. I think they're both road. What is the road? One's, one's a railway, road, one's a road. Yeah, I oh, think so, okay. yeah. And the railway bridge is the, like, the low, Lower low, one. the one you saw, oh. that old rusty thing. Yeah, oh, man, yeah, like um, I said, just blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine blowing a railway a lot bridge of maintenance up. Anyway. Only a lane could be blowing railway bridges up. <laughs> Um, and then everyone just has to walk across. Yep. But yeah, so when you go on the there, you turn right, and then that's when you're into bread and water. Yeah, you can imagine a set of sailing. Do you know how oh my eventful God, it would that be, be? It would be a nightmare. Like, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine a video of us saying, we're going to do a video, we're going to do our next video, uh, sailing, sailing Titania? No, I won't be sailing that one. <laughs> I'll leave you to do that one. <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to our boat. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're going at Bray Water and um, it was brilliant. Um, I managed to let the kids have a go, which I think I encourage you to do. Let yeah. your kids get involved, learn new skills. We were made our way up to Alton Broads. Yeah, we arrived at Alton Broads and um, Paul. Oh, you skipped the many bridges we go through. Oh, my the God. The bridge that turns and. Yeah, there were and many bridges. There's another low bridge that actually rotates in the middle. Yeah. And, and, and I think um, it was the first time went through it was very low we managed to get underneath it because i think the tide started turning yeah again there's another bridge what can be very low what opens up yeah uh, i think it's manned at certain times so after a certain time you mm -hmm. just you can't go through it no unless the tide's low yeah so yeah. anyway we've got Totten broads yep and, and uh, the um the harbour master there is is it paul paul yeah yeah really nice guy really nice guy got a lot of time for him so um we turned up and he came running out and helped us to type because again it was windy yep oh no we actually moored up at the pub the, the, the pub first yes. the pub opposite in the Brooks. Alton Broad is quite a big expanse of water yeah in, in, a, in an area which is on the border of, of north and it's in Suffolk actually isn't it mm. and we moored up a stern on at the pub. Yeah. And, and how and much is it a night? It was ten pounds a night. Ten or twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. Yeah, twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. Yeah. yeah. You don't get a drink. You don't get nothing. A cup of tea. There wasn't and, even any water. Was and there? And there was nothing off. It was off season. Yeah, hey, I'm not grudging them. It's what it is. It's what it is. Um, but we was there. We're thinking. But also, it was very busy there and very noisy and very like, muddy. Literally right next to the car park. Yeah. Behind the boat, getting off on the boat was muddy. I didn't really feel happy. Um, more in there, although I would have still done it. And, and then I thought, let me ring. Um, no, did I walk around? You called, I think. I, think I called the yeah. master. Yeah. And I said, we're on. Um, we're, you know, I said, we're, we're on. Um, oh, no, we did walk. No, we did go for a walk, didn't we? <clears throat> yeah, we well, yeah. Yeah, went for a walk, and that's it. And I spoke to him, and I said, what we're doing. Um, I said, we're, we're influencers traveling around. I hate that word, influencers, but that's what he called us. We're, we're influencers, YouTubers, whatever. 
traveling around, promoting the UK and things to do within the UK and everywhere we go. And he was like, oh, it's great. It's great that you're promoting us. You know, we want people to know more about um, oh, Alton Lord. Broads and what we offer. Um, he says, bring your boat over. I said, all right then. So I expect to pay and everything. He was, no, no, no. But we'll sort that out later. So I mowed the boat up, boat up and there. And... Um, he came out, helped us up, guided us on onto the mooring, which is a lot better for us because we're side on Rob's turn and with kids, mm. and Rob have the, the pontoon on the side. Um, and yeah, and we got chatting, a really nice bloke, yeah. like Lane said, looked after us. And then um, he told us what he wanted to promote or what he's what he's excited about, like their new washroom Wash laundry, area, yeah. which is great, and a shower room. Yeah. And it was great, to be fair. We even used it. Yeah, and by the way, if you are going to be washing clothes there, uh, it's about £6 for wash and dry, isn't it? Yeah, and it takes about 10 years to wash. <laughs> but when the clothes come out... They were so clean, they so were clean. hard. <laughs> it's so clean, but um, it's great there. We left our stuff there and went out for the day and yeah. come back and the stuff was still there. Yeah. He does lock it after a certain time, but it will be there in the morning so if you're not bothered it'll lock it and it'll be safe um to you till he opens up in the morning yeah um really really great it's amazing service i did a little review on the on the washrooms as yeah, well yeah oh, we, did, we, we did a review on it <laughs> yeah and yeah, yeah. old bros amazing it um, was really good and the good thing about alton bros the location it's um we actually went for a walk yeah i was amazing we went for a walk and uh, we ended up at the back of some Industrial. Um, industrial park, but it wasn't an industrial park. It was like a proper tourist trail. Apparently, yeah, but yeah. it was still industrial. There's loads of boat yards and stuff. Yeah. And there's lots of... It just looked like somewhere, you know, at night you just don't go certain places. <laughs> it's like yeah. a kind of place where you just don't go. <laughs> Norfolk's not known for that. No. <laughs> but that day I walked around and thought, where's it going? It's all, like, yeah. these paths are muddy. It just and, doesn't and seem right. It's, there's all little warehouses. But and it little... was because we got to a little place where um, it had, like, a like a little stand that told you about the area yeah. and what I think it was about. it used about. to be a bay, didn't it? Or yeah. Some kind of bay it was before. And, um, yeah, so we found a little mystery and it was somebody, a local, who told us to go and do that walk. I think it was Paul. <coughs> oh, yeah, it might yeah, be Paul, it was yeah. Paul, yeah. So, so we did that, which you see in the video. Yeah. And then we, we walked around, come back, and we went um, from there... Um, no, nope, before you left, left there, remember we saw the seal. You yeah, saw the seal. yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So we came back, and this is not all in one day, obviously. No. It's a, but yeah, we saw, we saw the seal. Yeah. And he came up with a fish, with a mullet. Was in it called foot. Arthur or something? I think they called Arthur. it Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> And, and a guy joked to me, he said, oh, there's normally a seal that comes around every morning and says hello to everyone. Mm. And I was like, oh, that'd be great to see it. And literally, as he walked to the edge, he was talk I was talking to Paul, the guy went, it off is there. I went, I look. <laughs> and these seals are massive. Yeah. It's massive. And he came up with a fish and he's like showing off the fish to us and um, doing all kinds of stuff. Kept coming back, showing us the fish, kept teasing us. So I got the camera out. As you can see, there's a bit of footage there. And it was amazing. And yeah. he just looked me in the eye and it's just like amazing. <laughs> yeah, we were getting ready to go, so we were packing stuff up and, um, yeah, just getting the kids ready and dressed and things to go. So uh, the good thing is that when we were leaving, though, Arthur followed us out. So yep. the kids did manage to see, see it. Uh, they, you know, they were really excited, but they were like, go back, go back. No, we couldn't go back. We had you to know, go. We needed to yeah, head away and because, make headway now. Yeah. Wrong eyes, pop out as well. Don't know what's going on with our cameras. Yep. <sighs> GoPro, what's going on? So this, this time it <laughs> this keeps, time it started overheating. Yeah, it started overheating. It's really hot at the moment. I don't know if you can see the heat. It's, uh, it's anyway. Amazing. Anyway, so let's get back to we're in Alton Broads. Yeah. So um, you've got certain windows, window fret time frames to hit the the bridges um, to get underneath, especially if you've got a big boat. So that's the thing. I think a benefit. There are benefits of having big boats, you know, and there are negatives. When you if you have a big boat, inside is absolutely amazing it's like living in a house you've mm -hmm. got so many um, personal spaces that people can go to if you want your own personal room especially when you're on the boat with other people and sometimes you just want your own space yeah um, for your own mindfulness and your own peace of mind uh, you need to have a big boat to go to different different areas so um, that's one benefit but the negative side of it is that you sometimes cannot go you most times cannot go under the low bridges <laughs> yeah that's the thing and it's it, that's a mistake well we're just idiots we just like the bigger boats <laughs> so 
So we go for the biggest boat we can get um, because we like an adventure and yes, a lot more things can go wrong. So be mindful. Yeah. If you're not experienced boaters like us, and you're new to all this, if get something. If you're inexperienced like us, he should really say, because we, we don't have much experience. No? No. We're novices. We're, we're, we're novices. We've never this. done boat in our life. No. You know, what is a boat car? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so yeah, um, bear that in mind when you're having an old day and just enjoy yourself. That's it. I think we stayed in the awning that night. Yeah. And then on the way to Port Iron, we had another few days left, a duck joined us. So, look, these ducks <laughs> on these rivers, right? <laughs> they hustlers. are proper hustlers. Oh my God. So, you can be going along, minding your own business in your boat, and these things are. They're just, they're just, again, like wafting along in the river. And the moment they get whiff that you're coming along as a tourist boat, oh my word, you know. they're on it. They are running towards your boat and headed towards you. And then they're thinking, right, give us some food, give us some food. And you don't give, a, give them anything, they're off. Not this one. Nah, he flew, this one jumped up. Flew <laughs> and landed on our boat <laughs> and harassed us for our food. Proper hustlers. I mean, little Daffy Duck, like... I'm a hustler, baby. Oh, I know. <laughs> I just want you to know. <laughs> you know, where are you been? <laughs> oh, dear. Don't, no. don't, 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 don't um, get me, Jay. Don't. Jay. What's his name again, Dre? Yeah. Dre, don't, don't. Is, that, is it Jay that does that? <laughs> I don't <job>? know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this stuff wasn't doing that that silly dance or song. By the way. <laughs> um, it was just like, yes, yeah, stealing food for now. The duck joined us for about 10, 15 minutes, and then when it realised we weren't getting any more, we evicted him. Yep. Or her. Mm. I think it was him. It was him. Yeah. Right. Oh, just in case you want to know between uh, what what ducks are females and males, the colourful the colourful ones are males and the brown dull ones are females. Why is that? Women are dull. (laughs) Tell me, he didn't just say that. He didn't mean that, by the way. The women that are watching <laughs> well, our know. channel, they are, they are. I will slap him to you just Ow. so you know he didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, and we made it to. Um, no, hang on, we, we, we skipped a bit. What did we skip? In Horning, we stopped off at the Willow Strafe. That's the one. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was not Willow Strafe, it was just the Willows, isn't it? Well, no, I think it's Willow Strafe, I think it's. Is it? Or Strafe Willows, yeah. Strafe Willows, oh, yeah. okay. It's a little restaurant right on in next to the shop in the town. Yeah. And the owners are very new, they've taken it over. And and we just thought we'd go and say hi and give yeah. them a bit of promotion, show them a bit of love. Yeah. And um, yeah, we had a coffee there, lovely. It was really nice oh, coffee, wasn't amazing. it? Amazing, yeah. I'm One not the biggest coffee I've drink in the world, but it was real, real, real proper coffee. Right. So, obviously, um, we have a little problem. <laughs> <laughs> a very big problem, I think, actually. Yeah, we've misjudged the fuel situation a little bit. Because yeah. We thought there'd be another fuel station. We forgot there isn't. So, we just got enough fuel to get us back. Well, we misjudged the journey back. Yeah, you... I mean, we did no, <laughs> nearly, nearly never got water because some places are closed. Yeah. And um, when we went to some places, even the fuel station was closed. Um, yeah, in awning. In awning. Yeah. We wanted water. So, we thought, okay, we'll get back anyway. And um, on the way back, we forgot we had a big broad to go. We had to go on the London Bridge this morning. Yeah. And we had a big, we forgot about another broad further up, which is quite big. And when we saw that, it was like, oh my God. <laughs> Our faces kind of dropped, and that was why, because we kind of realised that we still had a little way to go, and the fuel was on red. I actually thinking, yeah, we'll get some fuel um, <laughs> further up, and I forgot, hang on, there's no fuel stations. That's it, that was that, the That end. was the whole day. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the bit with the chat about is going to be another talk, because yeah. that's complete, we had issues with that after we put it in. Yeah. So we'll go to another video with our journey of that, and, yeah. and just give you insight, we film a lot, and not all of our videos, not all of the content we film, we can fit into a video. And not all of it makes the cut, basically. Yeah, and unfortunately, <laughs> it goes up to another video, because by the time we've done a video, we've moved on to another place, and we'll, we, our videos can go on forever. Yeah. So Lane's always filming. Can't believe once we actually lost hundreds of files. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it, was yeah, it, was the, it was the narrowboat one and some of the, um, this one, the Richardson's Yeah, boat. we lost a lot of the files. A lot of really good video clips. So there's no point in talking about them. <sighs> yeah. Um, there's so much happened, which we had on film. Yeah. But we lost it. Yeah. One way or the other. That's technology for you. Yep. Um, so like Lane said, if you've got a GoPro or you've got any equipment you want to sponsor us, 
ears up. We'll approve it for you and use it in our videos. And um, yeah, we'll give you some promotion. For sure. Right, guys, also don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Please do share it. Share as much as you can. <laughs> And also comment below. We don't mind hearing from you guys. <laughs> um, let us know what you feel. Let us know also where you want us to go next. Um, we're looking to travel all over the world with what we're doing. So let us know if you want us to visit your country and where you are, what is there to do. And if you want us to visit your hotels, resorts, old days, whatever it is, activities, no matter where you are in the world, hit us up. Let us know where you are. Get in touch and we'll try and make this happen. Well, someone did mention... Um, about Montenegro. Montenegro, where's that? I don't know if they're trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mon no, no, Montenegro, really, no, they did, they that's, did. Is, that's near the Balkans. <laughs> it is, I think it's a Balkan country. Yeah, right, okay. And um, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if um, they live there or not, but I was saying, yeah, you know, one day definitely we'll, um, we'll hit, head over there. Um, but they said it's a beautiful country, so definitely we will be yeah. checking that. And I believe out. that's near Croatia. Yeah. And Macedonia. Macedonia. And all those sorts. Slovenia. 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 All those good stuff. So yeah. we're going to check those countries out as well. Yep. And um, uh, and yeah, and there's, we're going to go everywhere. We've got a lot planned this year. I don't want to give too much away. No. Because um, we don't like planning. If we tell you in advance, we've got to plan it. It probably way. go wrong. Yeah, us. but we'll go there and think, well, I know we've got to go there, but why don't we just dive at, um, it's yeah. a thousand miles that way. And literally, region. we're here talking to you guys because we do love talking to you, really. But we Major are also... Talking. No, 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 no. I really don't like talking. He's the one. Um, but we are actually waiting on a call. We have to sit out here and wait a long periodically time. We are anticipating a call to come through to let us know when it's good to go. And then we are gone. So in between that, we're going to be doing more video talks. We're going to be doing some content as well. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so we're just planning 2024. Yeah. And it's 2023 is so eventful. Like I said in the last video, it's I don't amazing. know where it's gone. We first time in a year we've sat down and we're going back for our old videos, which yeah. I encourage each and every one of you to do. Please go back to our original videos. They haven't got a lot of views because a lot of people didn't really know about Invent and we've moved on so much. And But you'll see how we started um, with Columbus, what we did and how and you get a, a picture of how our videos evolved to what it is today. Yeah. And I'm amazed how we started off and it wasn't even planned, like I said. So it no. just it just snowballed into something different. And we are actually doing what we actually like to do. So we're not sugarcoating anything. We're not trying to show things which are very not there and all that and you know, I put it all up. We are just doing exactly what we've always done, which is travel. Yeah, and, we're and he's doing you guys... exactly what he always does, which is talk. Why so, are you why, 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 why are you being racist? <laughs> because you talk too much. That should be racist. Right.